Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com. And today's topic is cancer, but it's also your immune system, how you can deal with cancer with what we're going to talk about today. Also, how you can help to prevent cancer by improving your immune response. What if you could take your immune system and increase it from, say, it's working at a 30% level to a 70% level? Would that interest you? That's what we're going to talk about today. And this is so important. Well, today I'm going to be interviewing AJ Lanigan, and he is a scientist who has done amazing work in the field of beta-glucans. Beta-glucans, I talk about it in the grocery store videos where we talk about the barley and the oats and how it has beta-glucans. Well, he's going to share with you how that works and why it's so important. He's also going to share with us how, if you're in the state of cancer, how to use beta-glucans to improve your immune response. And good news is you can take beta-glucans whether you're in a conventional treatment or you're going to the alternative treatments. And if you don't have cancer and you don't ever want to get cancer, you really need to listen to today's interview. I know you're going to enjoy AJ Lanigan. And at the end of this video, if you watch all the way through, go ahead and post down below because we are going to be doing a giveaway to the first 25 people in, in the United States. Sorry, not, I know we have half of our listeners are around the world and I, and I get that. I just don't have this gift on, as a download yet, but maybe we will in the future. But we're going to be giving away a book about, it's called The Natural and Modulator. And it just talks about different herbs, different nutrients but make sure you watch all the way to the end and then post your um, connect with us at the end of this video. And we'll tell you how at the end of this video. So you get the fact that you have to watch the end of this video to get learn how to get this book for free. And so anyway, we have a great interview. Please enjoy this time. Take notes. You're going to want it. And we're going to have a series of videos and series of interviews with AJ Lanigan because he's an amazing scientist and his research is what we all need to learn from. All right. Well, AJ, I have been looking forward to this for so long and I've read the books that you've sent me. I've studied the material, not to the degree that you have. And there's just so much that we could cover with this being our first of a series of videos. And because I want to teach people, I, we have people who are following us because they want in-depth knowledge. We have others that just like, and that just give me the skim of the top, <laughs> just give me the cream and I'll run with it. But we have others that want to actually know how the farm works per se. And that's where you come in because people want to know the truth. They're searching everywhere for truth. And it's just so muddled. Even I have to like weed through all of the lies and all of the hype and all of the mis, you know, misread information. And that's why I'm excited about having you join us here at the Biblical Nutritionist, because you bring such knowledge about cancer for one, which is our most requested information that we can give out to people. And yet cancer is not just a single element. It's a, a conversion or, you know, it's like an overload on your system that started with other problems. And we're going to go there too. And that's what I like about talking to you. So with so much that we were places where we can start, what would you say is your number one question that you like to answer first to get us started? Well, there's no doubt about uh, cancer being at the top of the pile. If you look at this huge triangle of information that is out there about beta glucan and how it works with the immune system, by far, uh, cancer is at the very top of the pile. But before we get into that and we say, well, beta-glucan this, beta-glucan that, what is beta-glucan? Well, it's a material that actually comes from a food source. In fact, it can come from a lot of different food sources. Uh, we use baker's yeast, specifically Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Try to say that 10 times real <laughs> quick before you go to bed at night. Uh, probably mushrooms, barley, oats, probably the most common that, that most people would, uh, would have heard of in, in the marketplace. Each source, though, has a slightly different molecular structure. And, and so depending on whether we're after removing cholesterol, trying to add, as my grandmama used to say, bulk to, you, to, the, to the diet or fiber, or whether or not you're trying to increase immune response, then you need to select one or the other 
that would be the best resource for that. So I'd have to say certainly cancer and 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 beta glucan. Yeah, that, that's interesting. And also that you mentioned so many different foods because when I do the grocery discovery videos and I'm in the grocery store and I'm pointing out different foods, sometimes I will say this has beta glucan in it, but I will also typically say, and it's good just for general purposes, for general health. But yet when we're talking cancer, you know, we're talking, you need therapeutic doses. You need a huge amount. And we're not going to be able to get that just by eating a few oats for breakfast or some mushrooms grilled nicely over, you know, your mashed potatoes or what, however you serve your mushrooms or on a salad. So tell us why beta glucan is so important. And then we're going to go into how, how does someone do this, add beta glucan in, and what should the results be if you're even allowed to share that much? I know you, your amount of knowledge is incredible, yet we run and really give people some good takeaways today. Well, let, let's use some examples that, that uh, you would have read about in a lot of your, your, uh, your listeners. Uh, whether we want to talk about mushroom, for example, uh, these little white button mushrooms. I like to cut them up on top of a lot of the foods that I eat. You'd have to eat three or four cups of those just to get the immune system to move. When I say the immune system, get the immune response to move just a little bit. You'd have to eat about 32 bowls of rolled oats to get enough of the beta glucan, which would, yeah, boy, that's a lot of bulk at one time, uh, <laughs> to, to uh, again, just to move the needle a little bit. So the secret of what we have done with our product is we process it and remove proteins and fats. Those are the things that are in those foodstuffs that may help you on the nutritional side of, of the line but really don't do anything to enhance immune response. So in, in, in highly purifying this material, we can give you a little 100 milligram capsule and give you possibly enough immune response to equal, let's say 160 times the same in vitamin C. Again, something that people uh, you know, are familiar with. Yeah, but let's back up a little bit. So we know beta-glucan is in food. What prompted you to do so many years of research in beta-glucan? So let's back up a little bit. Why? Why are you into beta-glucan as strongly as you are? What excites you about it? And why should everyone else be excited about beta-glucan? Well, first of all, you'd have to go back uh, 50 plus years, uh, uh, University of South Carolina School of Pharmacy. Uh, is, is where I went. And, and, and as a little boy, even prior to that, my mother's father, uh, as I used to call him granddaddy, uh, developed prostate cancer. And so back in the 50s, there was little nothing to be done. And, and basically, they burned him up with, with, uh, with radiation. And I remember uh, the, the doctors sending my mom home with, with uh, these back then glass hypodermics with things like uh, Demerol and Dilaudid and so forth to, to make him comfortable. My most favorite guy in the world. And, and so almost from Jump Street, I'm keenly interested in cancer. <clears throat> My mom and I used to, uh, you know, she'd have me in, in tow beating on every screen door out in the woods uh, trying to raise money for the American Cancer Society. And this all the way up through high school. And so starting to, to uh, pharmacy school, I'm thinking, well, wow, you gotta think now, we're so, thinking circa 1970, all this modern medicine that we had back then, surely there's something <clears throat> that, that is gonna be laid out in front of me that's, that would have made a difference in my grandfather's outcome. Eh, not so much. And, and so that was the beginning, I guess, the spark that, that kept me on track. Now, moving fast forward to the early 90s, uh, some of my, my pharmacy associates, <clears throat> one particularly out in Denver, his father developed prostate cancer. He ended up going to Japan and working with a group 
that, that were getting beta-glucan from a mushroom source. In fact, it was actually an approved drug called PSK Creston. Uh, came in a little sachet. You, you dump the powder out, uh, in fact, about three grams into hot water, stir it up, smell a little bit like dirty feet, and then drink it down. And, and so that was my first inkling and, and helped me zero in on this specific material. Now, that material is still around today. <clears throat> it, it's around $2,000 a month for um, a, a, a therapeutic dose. Most of my friends would have to do without. And, and that's the sad part because there are answers like this, but yet the cost factor, you know, most people would rather just rely on their insurance and just do what the doctor says, but that's not the camp I'm in. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in the camp instead of knocking on doors for American Cancer Society, I would start to go fund me and say, Hey, uh, I want to share with you what's going to work. You know, what, how would you like to help? But uh, so, but, but I get it. That's the pharmaceutical industry. The pharmaceutical industry is expensive. So then where did you go next? Once you saw that, you saw, okay, wow, there's Japan is studying the mushroom, you know, beta glucans, and it was actually working. Where, where, where did you go next? What, what was the next step that you took? Well, that, that really helped me to, to zero in on what I was looking for. Because a lot of times, if you don't know the stuff in the stuff, you really don't know what to be looking for, but this really helped. And even back then, uh, there were several hundred studies that had been published. Many, many of those studies on cancer, all kinds of cancer, talking about tumors being shrunk and people becoming cancer-free after two or three years. In fact, doctors writing prescriptions. See, over there at that time, uh, it didn't have to go through hundreds of millions of dollars of double-blinded placebo crossover studies. Uh, they already knew what their results were with cancer doing chemo, radiation, and surgery. So they just put it in about four or 5,000 hospitals alongside standard of care, and they looked at the difference in results. And again, they started seeing better quality of life, people living longer, again, tumor regression. I mean, again, you can look up PSK Creston, K-R-E-S-T-I-N, and studies going back to the, uh, to the early 80s. And I said, wow, th this is, you know, this is the path. So again, the path started to narrow a little bit more. <clears throat> it was at uh, Tulane University in the mid-1980s that the actual molecule beta 13 d glucan was first isolated by Dr. Nicholas Deluzio and his team. And so now we had even a better look at what it was we needed to be looking for. And, and so that was my next step in a progression of steps that, that put me, you know, where I ended up. So knowing what your granddaddy had gone through and seeing what you're learning, like, how did that affect you? I mean, for me, I'm the type of person to be jumping up and down. It's like, hey, you, you've got to read this. Now, I'm, you know, I'm elbowing everybody. You, you need to really pay attention to this. So, so what happened next in, in this, you know, uh, timeline of how you went through this study? Well, not only for myself, but with a lot of people that I've met over the years, what if? What if I'd have known? What if we'd have known? What if, what if, what if? Well, okay, that water's under the bridge. The question is, what do we have now? What do we know now? And what can we employ today to improve people's quality of life, people's, again, longevity, and actually give them uh, a reason to say, okay, I can actually beat this cancer. I, I don't need to be on the wrong side of the statistical stack. Yes. And, and so as I studied more and more about the immune system, and then I looked at the impact of this uh, amazing molecule, and it continues to amaze me and frankly, many scientists all over the world uh, that continue to do work, 
continue to advance this work, uh, we look and say, well, what, why is it here? I am a fat boy, hundred, you know, 260 pounds, 70 years old. Uh, why don't I have cancer? Why is it that when I was in grade school, one out of six were going to get cancer? And today, one out of two men and one out of three women, if they live long enough, are going to be challenged by cancer. Why is it getting worse instead of better? All kind of theories out there, all kind of good ideas. Uh, chemicals, toxic chemicals, heavy metals, stress, radiation. I mean, there's a long list. A lot of books been written on all of these things that give rise to cancer. I keep asking, why? Why heavy metals? Why these toxic chemicals? I mean, when I was a kid, I used to take malathion, just Trust me, you shouldn't be doing it with your bare hands like I used to. You used to drink out of a hose pipe. You used to do a lot of things that they tell you today key in a New York second. Why am I not dead? The answer is very simple. And listen to me very carefully. If you have cancer, it is because your immune system has failed you. Pause. Your turn. I reflect on that. Right. And, and that's what we talk a lot about, you know, the immune system has failed you. And my goal is to get people to just to start eating healthy to as much as possible to eliminate the toxins that are in the processed foods that are eliminate the toxins that are on even the produce is to teach them that element of control. And they do have that control when they're willing to accept it. And yet you're going to take us now to the next levels like, okay, there's so many things that we are exposed to. We can't control it all. We can't control it all. And there are a lot of people who, you know, who get cancer anyway. So now how does that, so we're, you're talking about the beta glucan and I'm assuming by what you just said, you know, why, why not you is I'm assuming because you take beta glucan every day is what I'm assuming. <laughs> Well, you have to appreciate it that I get it at a good price. So yeah. oh, not, not yeah. a problem. But, you know, yes, I, you know, it, I was, I was uh, in my 40s before I even had any idea about this material. Plenty of people. I mean, you've got infants today that end up with different forms of cancer, young children, young adults. So it, it, all this stuff is coming from you. And, and, and I, I tell people, look, <clears throat> Drink the good water, breathe the good air, get proper exercise, get the proper amount of rest, eat the good foods, stay away from the bad foods. I, I, I don't discount that you cover all the bases. You say your prayers. Uh, all of these things are critically important. But when someone looks at something like cancer and say, okay, I'm going to go down a particular road and again, so many with standard of care, chemo, radiation, surgery. <clears throat> if that's what they do, I don't try to argue with them. But I do try to say, look, at some point, if you have had cancer before, your chances are statistically higher that you're going to have it again. So failing to address the immune system and that immune response is I think just, just foolhardy and, and ill-advised. So, you know, again, the, it, let, let's talk about something we do something about. As you say, you can control your diet. You can control how much sleep you get at night. It'd be tough to control our planet, no doubt about it. But those things that you can do something about deal with it, the things that you can't do anything about it, well, turn it loose. Leave, leave, it, leave it down the road because, again, stress is a, is a big thing. Right. All right. So tell us more how beta-glucan beta works in cancer cells. So why is it so effective? What is it doing or in, in our body or in the cancer cells? Okay. First of all, understand that our immune system is made up of multiple organs, uh, tissues, chemicals. I want to, at least for today, zero in on 
the immune cells. We've got trillions of them. Now, we, it used to be trillion was a big number. Now the federal government, you know, a trillion is like me living, leaving a tip at uh, Burger King or something. Exactly. But uh, it's, it's a matter of <clears throat> we win based on sheer numbers. Just, I would encourage everybody just write down, a, you know, the number one trillion and understand that we've got many trillions of white blood cells. So the difference is, if you're perfectly healthy, okay, and the reason we know these things is because, you know, we, we've tested, we understand them. About 30% of those cells will respond to a challenge. That's if you're perfectly healthy. If you add our material to it, depending on how much, you can increase that 30% to 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%. And, And so how many people do you want helping you fight the fight? And most people will answer, well, I want as many as as I possibly can. So how does it work with cancer? The beta-glucan itself does nothing. It has no interaction with the cancer cell. Its interaction is with our immune cells. Now, imagine an immune cell. uh, What what kind of automobile do you drive, by the way? I have a Ford Explorer. Okay, I drive a Tundra. Both of them, great vehicles, but my key will not crank your vehicle. Vice versa, the key that cranks yours won't crank mine. So think of that key switch. We use the term receptor. So receptors on the surface of our white blood cells respond to our molecule. It's the key that cranks our immune cells. And as I like to say, turns the Woody Allen immune cells into Schwarzenegger cells. And if you watch the old Schwarzenegger movies, it doesn't take many of them to get the job done. So we're not causing the immune system to do anything it's not supposed to do. It's going to do what it's supposed to do more, better, and faster. And larger numbers. Again, instead of 30%, 50%, 60%, right on up. And so... Uh, over the decades, we, we've done so many dose responses. We work with so many different chemicals, trying to depress and suppress the immune system, and then showing that this ingredient can offset that. Uh, different toxins, different heavy metals, uh, actually implanting into uh, different animals, breast cancer, lung cancer, uh, all kind of different cancers and showing that we could cause the immune system to shut it down. And so it's by repeating these same studies over and over again, we know very well what this compound is going to do. All right. So you mentioned breast cancer and that is probably the most popular, just speak, I don't mean popular, like, you know, in a good way, but just the most well-known would be sure. the- most talked about, I guess yes. it would be fair to speak about yet. And so what would a woman who has had breast cancer in the past, and they they like to classify them, you know, in all the different categories of the, of the tumors, but what would a person who's had breast cancer in the past, what should, what would be a good program for them? What would be a good regimen for them to consider it to be proactive and to increase the immune system from 30% to maybe even up to 70% to be in the proactive state. Okay. That's a very simple question uh, for me to answer because we've done that work so often. I like to divide people into two groups. You're either completely healthy or that you're not because understand the beta glucan nor does the immune system, when it's working properly, care what flavor the ice cream is. So whether they're HER2 positive, triple negative, what, what, whatever flavor the ice cream is, we want the immune system eating more ice cream, if, if you can follow me on this. Yes. So, so we, we give a particular dose. And you remember I mentioned like the 100 milligram capsule? Using that material, 
a healthy person can raise their immune response at one of our lowest doses from around 30% up to around 45%, okay? However, someone who is not healthy, somebody's in this other group, or someone who's had a challenge in the past, well, they're probably gonna want their immune response as high as that's gonna get. And for that, we, we manufacture a 500 milligram dose. Now, either, the, either one, you give it based on body weight. You give it based on body weight. So for the example you give, they would take one of the 500 milligram for every 55 pounds of body weight. It's just that simple. Now, again, still eating the good foods, leaving the bad foods alone, drinking the good water, breathing the good air, dealing with stress. Again, cover all the bases, cover all the bases, but make sure that uh, <clears throat> with the immune system, it's a little bit like your teeth and gums. You can eat all the good food in the world, say all your prayers, but if you don't brush and floss, what's going to happen? Your teeth going to fall out. <laughs> yeah. So you got to do something extra. That is, you got to brush and floss. The same thing with the immune system and the immune response. You got to do something a little bit extra to make sure that immune system is working as well as you can possibly get it to work. All right, and we're going to cover more about that in the next video series about how the immune response and how that works. So, and, and that's a video not to miss because there's all about, you know, oh, you can overactivate your immune system. Oh, you can, you know, all of those um, teachings that are out there that is just more confusing and just uh, really just needs to take out your, your earbuds and just move on and do something else. So we're going to cover that in the next video. So I'm excited about that as well, just because I'm just a sponge when it comes to learning. So how could we, how could we wrap this up for someone? So you've already shared. So taking a beta glucan supplement is more than just eating healthy foods. It is actually stimulate. I don't use the word stimulate. It is improving the response of your immune system. So that even if you are completely healthy, which I don't really know anyone who is 100% completely healthy, unless you are truly tracking that blood work and you are truly, you know, getting an inside view of what's going on all the time. And we live in such a stressful environment and there's things happening around us that we're not even aware of that we are being exposed to. So on just a normal basis, you're saying taking a beta glucan supplement on a daily basis is just really good preventative measure, correct? I would, I would say to have a clear picture on the question you're asking. Uh, vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, amino acids, all that, these are all nutrients to help to build and maintain healthy bone and tissue. And mm -hmm. we need all of that, just, just as if we would use good steel and good concrete and good glass to build a wonderful building. But you see, that building can't just be left alone because things will come there and attack it. And that's where we have the immune system. The immune system is going to have to have its own unique, mm, I don't want to use foods so much, but certainly the lack of certain foods, the lack of certain vitamins are going to suppress and depress the immune response. <laughs> So if you get the proper foods, something like beta-glucan can then push you up to a level. Otherwise, you can't, you just can't obtain it. And, and so, again, looking at it different than, than food and nutrients, again, for helping to maintain healthy bone, healthy tissue, and the functions thereof, we still need that immune system. Why? because we need a security force to protect that building so it's there next week and next month. All right, good. And then you also covered those who have had cancer. You know, we talked about the therapeutic dose, the 55 pounds, one pill per 55 pounds. What, I know this question is going to come up, so I'm just going to throw it out there. What have you seen people do with beta-glucan if they chose to go a nutritional route versus a conventional chemotherapy route? And are you allowed to say? 
Well, the government doesn't allow me to say a lot of anything, but the older I get, uh, there's there's less threat. <laughs> if I was 25, I'd be scared to death. But but I don't I don't worry so much anymore. I I think what I can tell someone is regardless of what path you choose, whether you do standard of care, whether you do total complementary and alternative, or you do some combination, regardless of what, which path you take, your outcome will be better if you make sure that that immune response has everything that it needs to be to have everything it can be. Because you, you want to be able to see the light at the tunnel and you don't want it to be a train coming the other way. Right. And, and so people will choose different paths in that. Uh, God bless them that they choose the right path for them. But again, it's not going to hurt them to help to enhance, support, and maintain that good, healthy immune response. The outcome, I promise you, will be better. All right. And that's that's really where I want to kind of recap this. And that's, it doesn't matter what you choose, how you chose to treat a cancer. And that is totally individual. Sometimes it's family, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's a decision and that's your decision. But yet what we're seeing is, is that those who take beta glucan along with the conventional treatments, chemo radiation, have a better immune response. So I'm just kind of recapping what you said. That realizing chemo and radiation a lot of times depletes your immune system and then you know your white blood cells are down you can't see anyone you're kind of in your home you're not allowed to go out because you have no immune response what we're saying is add in the beta glucan so you can give your immune system a spark you can keep it going keep it fighting for you and what i've seen from your studies it actually makes the chemotherapy more uh, more effective because the chemo is actually able to work more on the cancer cells and let your immune system do its job at the same time. So you're almost getting two for one, you know, fighting against the cancer cells. You're, you're going conventional, you know, and you're and taking the beta glucan at the same time. So you're improving the response rate. You're, you're giving the body what it needs to fight the cancer cells. Well, then you bring up ahead. an excellent point there because many times people go into, again, a standard of care path the chemo, the radiation, many times a combination. And before they can finish, you know, their complete protocol, the white blood cells crash. And right. the doctors, they actually have to stop the protocol because, hey, even they know without your white blood cells, without your immune army, then the next sneeze, a cold, a sore throat could do you in. So, Here's what happens. The chemo and radiation has basically obliterated your white blood cell army, but yet the cancer cells are still there. Right. Now they're going to take off like a house of fire. However, and the studies show this, <clears throat> that if you can keep that white blood cell count up and strong, if you've chosen the chemo, the radiation, whatever, then they can finish that work. And again, the outcome is going to be better. And, and that, that is extremely important. I don't, I don't want people to think you got to choose the left or the right or the middle. You can choose, but just don't omit, in my mind, one of the most important parts. And that is to get that immune system eating more ice cream. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's what you want it to do. Right. And so, and also recognizing beta glucan is okay to take when you're doing chemotherapy. Absolutely. Now, now there is a big if there, you do need to be working with a doctor who is smart enough to go on PubMed and see the research. <laughs> you know, some of them are very pigeonholed and they're like, no, it's my way or no way. And when I hear those words, I say, well, let's move on because there is a good, you know, oncologist that will be willing to work with you and using both. And it is very effective. It's very beneficial for you. You are the person that matters. And I know with my mom's cancer treatments, there were times the doctor would say, no, you can eat what you want, but do not supplement or I won't treat you. And I said, well, oh, let's go. That was a $200 wasted for talking to him for 10 minutes. 
So we'll win on, we'll find someone else there that's willing to work through that. And which is why her five-year cancer diagnosis was a 19 year adventure, you know, and it was a great adventure. She had a great life for 19 years because we were willing to step outside the box and find doctors that were willing to work in the way that we wanted her to be treated. And that's what we're seeing here is this has so much study, so much research. I mean, you're talking 50 years of research on beta glucan and its effectiveness against tumors. And so the research is out there. So if you're working with an oncologist or some doctor, uh, a radi um, radiation oncologist, and they're like, no, no, don't use that. Well, ask why. Give them, ask them, say exactly why, why not? And then talk with them like, and then we can, you know, there's so much, like you were saying earlier before we started the call, how many thousands of research articles are out there that prove how well it works. So there's no reason to refuse it. And you just need to kind of stand up for yourself and say, you know what, I'm going to do this in addition to it is my life and just recognize that. And then those who are wishing to go the alternative route, then I wouldn't personally go the alternative route without the beta glucan because I'm like, uh, no, um, I, I like the research. I like what it's doing. And so my husband and I, we just kind of do it as a maintenance dose right now is like, Hey, why would we not want to have a higher immune system response to anything that we come in contact with? You know, why wait till you're sick to decide, well, maybe I should have improved my immune system. Why not be proactive instead? What would I you mean, say? You, you probably heard the old joke about uh, what you call the doctor who finished last in their class. No. Doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I hadn't, heard, I hadn't heard it said that way, but I've, I've always had that thought. It's like, well, you, I would tell people who call me as sometimes mostly families, like, well, you don't even know how well he passed his class. You don't know how well he passed his board, you know, and they can take that a couple of times, so, you know, they can memorize, you know, but that doesn't mean they can apply. And we have a lot of good doctor friends, so I'm not trying to put them oh, down. Absolutely. They, but I, I have those guys tell me the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the good news is, we're talking about using an element that God gave us in food because I feel like more and more with the complexity of the diseases that we're up against, with the onslaught of chemicals that are coming against us, God is revealing more and more and more of his handiwork in what he's already prepared for us. We just need good scientists to kind of isolate it and to get it into a dose that our body can say, oh, we can work with this and we're going to so pay you back with this. Any other final comments? Well, again, Annette, it's, it's a pleasure to uh, be part of your, your, uh, your work and Believe me, there are many, many medical doctors, PhDs, major research universities, teaching hospitals, that when you get up in the morning, they'll be taking this ingredient and they will be researching and finding out more and more about not only how it works, but the impact downstream that it has by way of the immune system and its response. So again, that that 12,000 plus studies on beta glucan and cancer are going to be probably 13,000 by uh, this time next year. So plenty of good work. Uh, and and it, it's like dominoes. They continue to fall. So we'll, yeah. we'll have more good, good information to report next time. I, I'm so excited about that. And, and you're right. That, that's a good point. Uh, most physicians are not going to have any problems with this. In fact, if you, they don't know about it, which is going to be odd, they will learn about it because you brought it to their attention and just say, hey, doc, go look at the 12,000 studies on how well this is working with cancer. Right. And, and like your doctor, when um, I don't go to the doctor that often, but when I do, it's a friend of ours and, and he'll run my blood work for me and he'll say, well, Annette, here's the results. And he says, I think these look good. What do you think? And I'll say, all right, this number I need to improve. This number is okay. And he's like, okay, that's good to know. Now tell me why, because the next patient may ask me why. <laughs> and I'll say, well, this is my reason why. And so sometimes our pa the doctors learn from the patients and there's nothing wrong with that. So, so thank you so much for joining us today. I am so excited about the next the videos that we're going to have in this series. I really want our, the biblical nutrition family to understand how our body works, how God has blessed us with so many nutrients for this day and this time. And that's, what, that's where we are. This is what he's given us. It's, it was already available to us. We just needed some great scientists to put it together so we can benefit from his blessings. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, just 
I'll put links down below to everything that we've shared here today so you can check that out. Read more about it if you like to. And it's always my delight to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And sometimes that includes amazing supplements that actually go in and help us fight what's up, what we're up against. Thanks for joining us, AJ, and for those of you watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview with AJ Lanigan. I know I did. And I love people who have information that I can use. I love the practicality of it. And yes, I want to eat healthy and make sure I'm giving my body what it needs. I don't want to take any day for granted. Every day matters. And yet I still want to supplement. I need to be as protective and proactive as possible. So if you watch from the beginning, this is a book we're giving away to the first 25 people who respond in an email to info at thebiblicalnutritionist.com. If you are in the science field, if you are a PhD, if you're an MD, we have a different book that we will send to you. It's just a little bit too detailed for most people. I mean, I've got pages highlighted and comments highlighted, but it's really a good book for going to sleep. But so if you're a specialist in your field, let us know that and we'll send a different book to you. But in general, this book is going to cover several herbs and extracts, you know, such as turmeric, cinnamon, um, ginseng, great information, but yet it's also going to cover glucans. So if you're like, well, I'm kind of interested in what you talked about on the video with the interview with AJ but I need to know more. I like to read it. Then this is for you. So for the first 25 people who email us at info at the biblical nutritionist.com, there is a shipping charge. And I think we can ship this out for $3. So we'll just put a $3 cost factor on that. And you can go ahead and order this. The other thing is um, be sure, give us your address and a way for us to uh, bill the $3 for shipping. So AJ is donating the books and we just need to ship it out to you. So the book is free, but the shipping is $3. It's about as reasonable as we can make it. Anyway, thank you for joining us today. I am always excited to share with you God's recipe for excellent health and you matter and you matter so much. And God is revealing so much of the intricacies of our body. And it's all because he loves you and he desires to have a relationship with you that is real and personal. And Remember in Romans, it says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's all of us. And so also it says that we need to have a relationship with him. Thanks for watching. And until next time. Mm -hmm.